everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd film a little bonus video. I'm filming a what I eat in a day. I haven't filmed one of these in a little while. This is going to be a what I eat in a day in a calorie deficit. So I'm still like I had a period of time where I was in a maintenance for quite a while um, in terms of calories because I'm fine with that as long as I'm not gaining weight then I'm happy. So yeah maintenance is fine but I just got to the point where there's literally a few extra pounds that I want to lose but it's a lot harder when you weigh less and also it, the motivation isn't quite as high. So that's probably why, but I'm in um, a calorie deficit today with what I'm gonna be eating. I tend to eat between 1,400 to 1,600 calories and that is still me in a deficit because I exercise as well and I do my workouts. But for breakfast today, I got up, I actually got up a little bit later than usual, but I got up at about half past nine. So I had my breakfast at a little, like about half past nine. And I wasn't, you know, amazingly hungry today. So I had just a slice of toast with some butter on and also a coffee as well. I always start the day with a coffee just because, I don't know, like I feel like it gives me a little bit of energy or something. And also I just like the taste in the morning. I don't tend to have a coffee at any other time of the day unless I'm out like at a cafe or something. Thing because a coffee's give me headaches if I have more than one a day so that just shows the power of caffeine but one's fine in the morning and yeah I had that for breakfast it is now lunch and I am gonna make my lunch I'm making a lunch that I wouldn't usually have this is something I would usually make as my evening meal but I'm having it for lunch because a I don't want the um, item to go out of date and also I just fancied having it for lunch. The calories aren't too high either. It's mo it's salmon. So I'm gonna be having salmon. I'm gonna get that out the fridge. I had salmon the other night. So yeah, it's the kind of thing where I really don't want it to go off. So I'm just gonna kind of eat it for lunch. So I'm just gonna have salmon and broccoli. So that's gonna be my lunch today. Just salmon and broccoli. So these are basically the ingredients that I've got. I've got my salmon just a boneless fillet of salmon. I've got some broccoli that I'm gonna chop up in a second. And then my mum bought me these olives. So I'm gonna have a few of these as well, just because, you know, they look nice. So yeah, she bought me them yesterday. So I'm excited to try some of those. I just chopped up some of these olives and I also just tried one and they actually taste so good. So yeah, very happy with those, really like them. I'm just gonna have a few of those and I'm just gonna add some water to my broccoli. So this is what I'm having for lunch. I've got my salmon, broccoli, and I did eat a few of the olives as well whilst I was waiting. But yeah, it's finished and I might have a little bit of ketchup um, with that as well. I'm also gonna have a Kit Kat as well. So it's now the afternoon and I'm just making a cup of tea, which I like to have in the afternoon and just sit and chill, watch some YouTube. And then I've also got these two like little caramel pieces. So I'm gonna have those. I don't know why my face is so shiny. Oh, I think it's still for my skincare, but anyway, every night I sort of roughly plan what I wanna eat the next day when it comes to food. Well, obviously when it comes to food because it's I'm eating it. Anyway, I always roughly plan what I want to eat the next day, so I already planned that I was going to have that today. So yeah. So tonight I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese for tea. I have just steamed my face, hence why it's gone red, um, with some boiling water just to steam it. No, I haven't put my face in boiling water. Steamed it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese for my tea tonight. However, I'm going to like batch cook some stuff so that I've got like you know, several bolognese's that I can put in the freezer and stuff. So I'm gonna do that as well. Lots of vegetables, mince meat, 5% um, fat mince meat, and some spaghetti and cheese. Just added in some onions to my garlic that I just added in. Forgot to film me like popping it in, but yeah, there's the onion. Now we are gonna chop up some mushrooms. Now I'm gonna do some courgette. Just pop the courgette into the pan 
and I'm going to cook them through now and then I'm just going to chop up some pepper and then that's all of the vegetables that I'm adding into my bolognese. Okay, I've just been a little bit stupid and because I usually cook vegetarian food, not I'm not vegetarian but for some reason I do a lot of vegetarian dishes, I forgot to cook the meat. So I'm going to have to cook that in a separate pan so that it's cooked, then add it to the vegetables. Great. There is a lot of meat to cook in this pan, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get the, the pan sort of heated up. I've just added some spices and things to my food. I'll show you what I've added. So I added in, first of all, some of the chili con carne, like mixture. Yes, I know it's not chili con carne, but it adds flavor. Um, and then we've got paprika, which is here. This is so nice. Like it smells like barbecue sauce. It's really nice. I added in some salt and also some pepper. And then just a little bit of sweetness, I added in some sugar. And then I'm left to add in this sauce and also some balsamic vinegar. I just added in this pasta sauce, which is from Lidl into the vegetables whilst I'm kind of cooking the meat on this pan. Oh God. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna just like come up to the boil and then simmer away. It's quite liquidy because I added some water as well because I know it's gonna be cooking for quite a while. So I've just attempted somehow to portion out um, these bolognese. I've made four like pots of them. They might not be the most evenest, but you know, it'll do. So I made four and I'll leave them to cool and then I will sort them out after and put the lids on and everything and put them in the freezer. Um, but this one's my one for today and I'm gonna, actually did I accidentally do myself more in this one? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've got this one for me and I'm just cooking 50 grams of pasta the like government recommended amount is 75 grams but because I've got like meat and loads of veg I just have less and also I am in a calorie deficit today and then I've got some 50% less fat cheese I'm going to add on top and one piece of garlic bread which is in the microwave. So this is what I am eating tonight this is my bolognese and garlic bread finished. I just had some of this ice cream in here can't get it out it's from Lidl it's Jesus Christ, um, chocolate brownie with chocolate brownie pieces. I literally had like a tenth of the tub, which is not very much. Um, it's 100 calories basically, so yeah. I'm now at my mum's house. She's just eating her food. I was gonna film that I, that I'm, uh, I had a cup of tea, but I've just drank it. And we're watching the Great British Bake. Mum, look how red my face. Oh no, yours looks redder, so it's okay. Thank you very much. I have no makeup on. No, it's not the redness, it's the the camera can you see I can see but yeah we're watching the Great British Bake Off I just came to mom's to watch it then I'm gonna go home mm. and uh, and that and that's all I've eaten today so that's what I've eaten in a day what have you eaten today mum speak what have I eaten poached egg on toast toast and jam coffee half a pot um, chicken sandwich some creme brulee tart that Jen had made. Oh, hold on. Packet of crisps. Oh no, packet of mini cheddars. Oh. Mini cheddars. Had an apple. And now I've got a health, really, really healthy salad, which I actually really love this sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. Goat's cheese and I've sprinkled peanuts on there as well. I need Salt to get some goat's cheese. Yeah. But so that's all I've had so far. Oh, don't. My ass looks massive. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the ham on that! <laughs> Anything else? What, food wise? Yeah. I plan to have a fab lolly for my pudding. Ah, thanks for sharing. As you can see, I look a little bit different right now. I've got a face mask on. It's actually the Body Shop Tea Tree one. I'm just getting it used up before I reformulate my own face mask and I just solidly used that one. But yeah, I thought I'd get it used up and I've been basically using it every night. It is a really nice one. But anyway, I thought I would end this video. Now I'm at home. This is what I eat in a day in a calorie deficit. So basically eat whatever you like. 
as long as you're in a deficit every single day for me is really different um and i don't track them horrifically accurately because i sort of roughly know anyway and also you know i'm not you know really bothered like if you're the kind of person where you've got weight to lose and it's really getting you down and it's really bothering you and you're trying to lose weight and it's not working and you're not really tracking your calories properly i would recommend definitely like really tracking it properly and then you can kind of see where you might be going wrong but if you're not so bothered like me then you don't have to be 100 percent accurate with everything that you're tracking um but yeah thanks for watching this video i'm planning to do one of these like what i eat in a day is once a month or twice a month this was just a little bonus video for this week so usually i post on a tuesday or thursday and a sunday but this is a little wednesday bonus so hope you enjoy yeah but please give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye have I been out of focus this whole time?